All right, so moving right along to our next Patreon request, and this one comes from Tom Hibbert. And Tom Hibbert asked me to do a sequel to his um, Transformers Sailor Moon crossover. As always, if you guys like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below, head on over to my Patreon, you guys can start sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But other than that, hope you all enjoy this, and yeah, let's get started with the video. So the story begins about mm, six months after the events of the first story, invo that involved Megatron and everything else. So this story is set at the beginning on Cybertron, and Cybertron has fallen under attack by an unknown adversary. That adversary being uh, Galaxia, but there's something different about her and her and her minions. Basically, something has happened to Galaxia and has made her all the more powerful, and she's here to bring ruin to Cybertron. Now, Shockwave, who's on the planet, is like, oh balls, that's bad. So he makes a direct line to Megatron, and the Decepticons are like, let's go, uh, let's get back to the planet because that's ours to rule. So the Decepticons ar arrive, and they do battle with Galaxia. But afterwards, they return to Earth, and Megatron returns to the Ark. Say, you know, Megatron return returns and goes directly to Optimus, saying, "Optimus, I need your help." <laughs> so it's so even though Megatron and the Decepticons hate each other. It's like Megatron understands that, like, yeah, if I, any, no one will rule Cybertron but me, but um, I can appeal to Optimus's, you know, love for his for his own human uh, for his own native planet, and I can make them, um, I can make them work with me, and they're and, Me and Optimus begrudgingly is like, all right, fine, who did this? And he goes, Galax Sailor Galaxia, and that go and they go, oh. The planet killer and there and he's like yeah so more what happened is that it's not just galaxia something d is different with her so the autobots and so optimus is like galaxia is someone i'm on sailor galaxy is something i'm unknown to so we got to talk to somebody else so they all go to the um to japan to find the sailor guardians and tell them about you know say what sailor galaxia has done now the major thing is that Cybertron isn't destroyed yet, um, but Galaxia has made her home on Cybertron because she is looking for something on Cybertron. We don't know what is, and something is different about her. But when the auto, so the Sailor Senshi and the Cybertronians head out to Cyber, they go on a space bridge and end up back on Cybertron. When there, they arrive and see what uh, Galaxia has done. Galaxia isn't just Galaxia. She's now known as Galaxacron. What happened is that um, Galaxia found Unicron. She found him and did battle with Unicron. And during the battle, um, Unicron, like she more or less took Unicron during the battle and absorbed his energy, leaving Unicron as like a, like a comatose husk floating in space. So, and with the dark energon now flowing through her body, as well as the Cybertronian energy in her, she's now taken on a new form, and it all, and now she can just absorb the energy out of planets. But it's not just the planet she's looking for, and she plans to do that with Cybertron. But first, she needs one, uh, she needs something from them, and she reveals, and she's looking for the uh, Sailor Cybertron. And they're and the and Megatron and Optimus are like Sailor Cybertron, and they're like, oh shit! The Sailor Moon and the others are like, oh shit! You know, there's a Sailor Guardian here. Of course, it's another planet. Every world has their own Sailor Guardian representation, you know, to represent them. And say and Galaxia would just to go around killing people to take their star seeds, and they would do you know they would. Um, that if she would go around and consume the energy from the star seeds, she was so terrifying that they would sacrifice. Some people would sacrifice their own sailor guardian to keep their planet from being destroyed. So we have to find the uh, um, the sailor. Cy we have to find Sailor Cybertron, and they're like, "Okay, how do we do that?" <laughs> First, we kick Gal We try to fight Galaxia, and it's not just her um, her that's been updated to Galaxicon. The others have been updated with Cybertronian energy as well. So, the, so their minions, so her minions like Iron Mouse and the others, are all 
um, have this kind of similar power within them too. Um, so every so they fight, but Mega uh, but however during the fight Sailor um, Sailor Moon and Megatron get separated, and during the uh, so during which Megatron proposes we need to find the Sailor Cybertron. And that will be, uh, hopefully she'll be our key and, and our ace in the hole against um, this, against Galaxicron. And he, and Sailor Mo well, Usagi's just like, I cannot for the life of me trust Megatron, but I have to work with him. So Megatron and Usagi agree to unite and find Sailor Cybertron. But the problem is you can't really find, like, <laughs> you need to find, like, their, um, their pen, and you need to find, like, who can be Sailor Cybertron. And Usagi even asks, like, yeah, Cybertron, Optimus once told me that Cybertron's been around millions of years, you know, before time began sometimes, how he puts it. Do you, did you guys know you had a Sailor Guardian? And he go, and Megatron is like, no, we never really believe, it, like, we never, like, we knew about the Sailor Guardians, but we never knew we had one our own. Like it had all like it had been theorized, but no one had ever gained the power of a Sailor Guardian. And she's like, that's impossible. Maybe let it, and then Megatron proposes the idea of like maybe the thirteen primes kept it from being that to avoid maybe they removed the power of the Sailor Guardian in order to hide from Galaxia. You know, maybe they did it, or the Autobot High Council, or somebody did this to hide from um, to hide from just the absolute monster that is that is Galaxia. So Usagi agrees. Meanwhile, back with the other, the other Cybertronians and um, and Sailor Guardians, they're like Megatron and Usagi have gone missing. What do we do? So they ha but they all get end up getting captured during the fight and Galaxia torments Optimus. She's like, you know, when I took uh, Unicron's power, I basically gained all of his knowledge. I gained all of his life force, and I know the Matrix of Leadership is dangerous, so I'm going to rip you open, and I'm going to rip you open, and I'm going to make sure that doesn't happen. So she pulls Optimus's chest open, but the uh, Matrix of Leadership isn't there, and he goes, do you think I, like, Optimus is like, did you think I would come here um, and willing you, willingly give you the weapon that would be used against, uh, you know, willingly... You, you like have the wet the thing that you fear the most with me and leave it in such a uh, um uh obvious place like obviously within me like do you think i'd uh, like uh, do you really think i would do that and galaxia's like where did you fucking put it and it turns out optimus gave it to um chibi moon who along with um Bumble Ch chibi moon and wheelie Wheelie and Bumblebee have been hiding out and are now, um, like, they're keeping the Matrix of Leadership sh safe. However, they've also find someone who didn't show up to the fight, and that's Starscream. Starscream used, it, like, during the big fight with Galaxicon, Starscream R-U-N-N-O-F-T'd. -R <laughs> so, they ha they basically say, um, hey, you're, you're working with us. And Starscream's like, no, I'm not. And they're like, we'll tell Megatron. Okay, let's go, best buddies. So now, Chibi Moon, Wheelie, Bumblebee, and Starscream have to, uh, like, have to um, use the Matrix of Leadership for, some, uh, for something big. Like, they gotta use it to um, use it at, in, uh, like, Optimus explained to Chibi that the Matrix of Leadership will light your dark, will light our darkest hour, and they're like, why didn't we use it? And even Starscream's like, why didn't we use the damn thing when we had the chance against Gal against Galaxicon the first fight? And Bumblebee explains that the reason why we didn't want to, we could, we didn't want to use it, was because we Optimus was afraid of putting it so close to her. He didn't want it, like if it failed then she'd have it and destroy it and end the line of primes. And Starscream's just like, oh, how terrible. Um, but we they want to use it. Optimus, other, there's another reason Optimus wants to use it, because he wants to use it to reawaken Unicron. And Starscream's like, time out. You want to wake up Unicron? He's like, yeah. Uh, like, Galaxia didn't kill Unicron. She just took his energy. 
so he's just catatonic so we're gonna use the matrix to wake him back up and they're like why do you want to like star screams like why in the name of primus do you want to wake him up again we could easily we and they're like because we can't beat unicron we can't beat galaxia uh, galaxia interstate on our own so the matrix so optimus believes the matrix can not only hurt unicron but maybe wake him back up and then and starscream's like oh cool yeah where's unicron by the way oh he's not here hmm so they have to find a ship to there's they have to use the um they have to use find a ship to fly out because so they believe that like galaxia probably didn't get too far from Unicron to begin with, so they can just tra use the Matrix to find Unicron. So they do find a ship, and the and the four of them head out. While this is going on, um, Megatron and Usagi um, have found uh, have have been looking like they've been looking through an. Oh, they found an old temple that explains like yeah, the Primes did um, hide the power of the of uh, the Sailor Guardians away from the original. Um, Sailor Cybertron. So they could, it, so they could harness the power of the Star Seat themselves. And Megatron's explains, of course the Primes would do something so cruel to one of our own. And she goes, I thought you'd relish something like that. And he's like, I may be a monster, but uh, uh, but even I have my limits, child. So Megatron and Usagi are also greeted by an unknown. Um, attacker who is also at the temple looking for answers and that was windblade so windblade joins the trio she was trying to kill megatron but sailor uh, but sailor moon stops them and she's like we got to find this mystic energy because they couldn't do there's no way they could break the pen there's no way they could break the transformation the cybertronians uh, the, the primes couldn't do that so the three of them go through the temple until they eventually find it and megatron's like think you gonna take that and Windblade and Usagi are like what the hell are you doing he's like I'm going to give this to you to, uh, to Galaxicron to spare Cybertron so I may rule it and who knows maybe I'll get it like maybe I'll get earth out of it too and they're like you son of a bitch so you Yusa uh, so Usagi and Windblade fight Megatron um Usagi beats Megatron in a fight um using a, a, just a huge energy blast to knock him out and in that moment that's when you saw uh, when Usagi uses gives the pen to Windblade and makes her into the new Sailor Cybertron. Um, <clears throat> so now, as Sailor Cybertron, they fly back. But Usagi's like, "Are you gonna be behave now, Megatron?" And she and he goes, he begrudgingly goes, "Perhaps I've made an error in my judgment. Allow me to correct it in helping you." And she goes, "That's what I thought, asshole." So they leave. While this is so, back with um, Chibi and her allies, um, Chibi and them find Unicron, and she uses the Matrix to wake him back up. And Unicron is like weak, and he's weak because he's lost all of his power. But now he's he's awakened. So they all fl they're like, "Hey, you want some revenge?" And he goes, "I will, <laughs> I will spare your planet for now if I can get my hands on." It if I can get my hands on that monster. So they all fly back, and this is where everything um, just um, collides, because now Galaxicron um, battles the remnants of this fo of these forces. It's like, yeah, Sailor Cybertron, be and Usagi shows up in flying on top of Starscream, and she's like, Say uh, Windblade, Sailor Cybertron, catch! Grabs the Matrix of Leadership, and Usagi just... Um, with with Windblade, blast a, a huge amount of energy through the Matrix of Leadership, and burn all of Unicron's like Dark Energon out of her, um, out of Galaxia, and Galaxia is just left weakened and beaten. She's like, "You think you can beat me? I'm still Galaxia," and that's when Unicron shows up and is like, "No, uh, you are not Galaxia. You are nothing more than my plaything for the next hundred years." So he beams. Um, Galaxia and in, in her servants into him, and it's like, I'm gonna torture them for a couple hundred years, or more. You guys can have your planet for now. I'm going uh, I'm going to feed on other worlds and get my strength back. But in the meantime, I'm gonna fuck, I'm gonna have my fun with Galaxia. So, by the end of it, um, Sailor, uh, um, Uwinblade becomes the Sailor Guardian of Cybertron, 
everyone's all happy and everyone departs um all the more united through friendship and shit so there you go that is pretty much transformers uh sailor moon 2 um once again i'd like to thank tom hibbert for this uh patreon request and continued patronage and you guys tell me in the comments below what did you guys think of it just comment below let me know other than that hope you all enjoyed this i'm mr multiverse i'll see you next time in the multiverse